Here this afternoon in Upper St. Clair, Bob Workwis, Mark Rauterkus, exclusive coverage on the network, the best seat in the house. Brought to you in part by our friends at ISCA, which we'll talk about as this broadcast progresses. We've got what should be, Mark, a very, very interesting 3A boys meet to finish off the weekend here. Let's get everybody, the professional development out of the library, athletic department, gift to the coaches. So, you know, here's a, um, an investment that I think is going to yield great dividends with knowledge and operation so that we can build upon our swimming uh, base here in Western Pennsylvania and have more and more coaches, you know, integrating the science and the the best practices in their training for swimming. You know, of course, the the top coaches know what they're doing, but, you know, we're talking about trying to seed some great content for the younger people. Stress that membership, and that's just a way to give some edge to your programs and to these young student athletes as well. Like so I'm a Penn Hills graduate. Oh, yeah, nice. Bang. And you're, introduce yourself to the oh, audience. I'm, uh, I'm Nick Page. I'm the head coach for the Penn Hills varsity team. And yep. Penn Hills was represented today by? Michael Lintelman. He, he's a senior this year. He got to swim his 2IM, and he went 157, I believe. Let me actually double-check that so I don't, so he doesn't get mad at me. Yeah, 156, 37. He ended up dropping three seconds off his uh, personal best today. It was a That's congratulations. big swim out of him. Yes. And um, out of um, how did the Penn Hill season unfold this year? Oh, it was a <laughs> it was a wild ride. And he'd, uh, we ended up we ended up at rescheduling. I think three separate meets. It was wasn't too too bad, but like all the swimmers were really great about it, though. Like the moment to moment changes coming in every day. Not he and like I know our last meet, Woody High, ended up getting switched the day before to push back a day, and they were all like super on their game coming in. It was a good time. And then did you have any um, really tight meets or any um, – who, who wins in a meet these days between Penn Hills and Woodland Hills? Uh, Penn Hill – we're running a smaller team this year. There's so we, – we, we, I think our – what was it? Our girls, team, our girls team ended up coming out a little bit uh, against Woody High. He, and then we ran – we had four boys, so it was a little rough. Okay. But, uh, but obviously Michael coming here, putting up his personal best, and we had one diver go out. It was really good. Coach, I want to get in, and I want to correct me if I'm wrong. So I know that Luke Holohan is the freshman. He's a diver. He was oh, a swimmer, right? Yeah. And his sister was a swimmer in the past? Yeah. So talk about that decision because he was swimming, but then he stopped to concentrate strictly in diving. I saw him dive last weekend, so that's why I'm asking Oh, his that. diving was fantastic. Like, at the, so at the start of the year, he said he just wanted to try swimming. He just wanted to see, like, if he – honestly, he just wanted to compete with his sister. So okay. he was like, he was like, let me go try diving. And this child was – just an absolute natural like our diving coach got a, got a hold of him and like he went from an absolute beginner to what you saw last week and the changes just day to day but for him were monstrous it was it was impressive beyond reason for him so good stuff thanks for letting me interject that more oh sure. yeah no sure and now um so what's the we were talking earlier about the Penn Hills swim scene and the, and the, the use of the pool. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, Penn Hills has had a little um, tough financially with the district, but uh, how are, how are the, um, how's the aquatic setting? Um, I think it's pretty good. We're, we're looking at a really healthy freshman class, actually. I know, a, I know a handful of them from coaching over summer and, co and from visiting some club teams. Like, our freshman class is looking good. Our seat... I'm going to miss our senior class, but, like, we're not going to be hurting for, for their loss. And, and then um, in the summer you said you worked at Rosedale Beach Club? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm also the coach for Rosedale Beach Club. Uh, also, shout out to Bridget Huffman. She's our head coach, and she does a fabulous job. Excellent. So um, thanks for being there for the oh, um, absolutely. for Penn Hills, and um, good luck in the future, and keep those kids, you know, in the water. Oh, positively, yep. Okay, thank you. Yep. Happy to be bringing you today. We should thank Mark and the ISCA as uh, the primary sponsor for this coverage on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Yeah, it, we want to send out a great message 
to all the viewers and all the teams in Western Pennsylvania and even beyond about the International Swim Coaches Association. We sometimes call it ISCA, and ISCA is a sponsor for the broadcasting of the meets this weekend, and I'm fortunate enough to be a volunteer webmaster with ISCA, and we have a special yeah, yeah. offer. When you yeah, join I ISCA, you get access to the global library for ISCA members. It's a learning management system that is packed full of wonderful educational enrichment, professional development, all the articles and webinars. And we appreciate uh, ISCA for sponsoring this. Appreciate you telling me I'm able to call it ISCA. That makes it easier. The International Swim Coaches Association. And appreciate our sponsors. Our sponsor today, the International Swim Coaches Association, to help bring this to you, the best seat in the house. You had it right here. Coverage of the WPL 2A Girls Swimming Championships. It was here and only here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network.